All right, playing with the Grizzly G0602 lathe today. Uh, got it running Centroid Acorn. I just updated to CNC 12 version 4.16. And I designed and made this um, tool touch off device. So the premise is it holds in the chuck piece of acrylic and this wedge right here serves as a safety so if it over travels um, in the X direction the acrylic snaps if it over travels in the Z this wedge right here breaks the acrylic so it does have a built-in safety so I don't crash and break a tool and the acrylic is you know five cents worth of acrylic to replace it so um, I don't have an alligator clip for this end this is the machine ground which the machine is grounded um, so it'll work without this connected, but I have a actual ground running right to the acorn board And then this is just running a pin 7 on the on the acorn so uh, Did take a little bit of figuring out to implement you go through everything in the wizard The one thing that's not mentioned in there you'll need to set a maximum search distance Which is a parameter number 14 and I set that to one inch so that's the maximum distance it will travel before it errors out it was defaulted to zero so it wouldn't travel at all so once I got that figured out I was able to get this working enables some new buttons so I've got tool number two here switch over here so tool two I've got tool one set up um, I did set the X and Z in the coordinate system so G54 for tool one and then I also did set the um, reference for tool one so I'm gonna go just to select tool two these already have values because I was playing around with it then I just hit F2 measure and then now I have an option for measure Z and X so we'll tap that it says that um, X will be traveling in the X minus direction which is that way so that's appropriate I have the tip of the tool roughly centered on the puck. The puck is 0.900 and it is half an inch thick in the Z. So I have all that input into the wizard in Centroid. So I just hit cycle start. Touch off, back up. And then I'll come to the outside. I do have the speed set up it was 10 inches per minute I set it up at 5 just because I want a really slow approach for the first contact but there it is um, go over here and Centroid did update the X and Z offset which are correct for that tool the only thing that I'm having a problem with right now and I'm going to play around with it some more as tool 4 I have set up as a boring bar so it would actually it's actually a boring bar but it's more of an internal drill tool so there's tool 4 so it would need to approach from the back side and the offset in the X isn't much different than my tool 1 but it comes out with a negative 2.6 so that's not right. There might be some kind of glitch or I'm just setting something up wrong. I can manually measure um, for this one and go about it, but it seems to be measuring anything that contacts on this side of the puck okay. Anything that contacts on the back side um, is way off. So I'm going to be playing around with this a little bit more. Um, if I can't get it figured out, I'll probably reach out to the folks over at Centroid and see what they have to say. But I think this is a really good option and a really good time saver. The key to accuracy with this is that we don't care if it's true to spindle centerline with this method. What we care is the offset from tool to tool. So if your master tool, which is tool one, you don't use for cutting, you don't drop it, you don't change out the bit, you don't do anything with it. You just use that strictly as a reference tool. You reference this off of tool one, and then you come and you reset your new tools or you make your adjustments to the different tools. So that's the way I plan on doing it. I will um, update you guys as I make more progress with this. Thanks for watching.